Well, what I'm really interested in about this exhibition, and I've been thinking about it, is um, the pornography and art are both visual mediums, aren't they? They're both kind of things that you look at. Uh, you can look at an artwork in private or in public. You know, it's kind of in your space. You respond to it. Um, whatever you might get a, it can be a pleasurable thing or whatever you know. And I'm thinking that well, pornography is quite similar. So again, it's a visual. I couldn't say language, but it's it's a visual activity, you know. And as artists, that's what we're involved with is you know visual thinking all the time. So I was kind of thinking about that and those ideas of. Um, the I guess how strong our visual responses are or our visual languages and um, um, so yeah that was just a, a thing I was thinking about in terms of what I was thinking in terms of the work is um, I'm playing around with this idea of um, the work may be called doctor and um, a lot of of course pornography is to do with exposure of the genitals you know which is a, a you know, the, that sensuality or whatever, it can be read as a sensual thing or a sexual thing or as a purely clinical thing. So I'm using an image, uh, uh, a, porn, a porn image from an old um, playboy and I'm doctoring it, if you like. You know, it's, for me, it's, it's a, kind of a very gynecological looking image of a woman with her legs akimbo, um, all is, you know, kind of displayed gynecologically as a woman looking at it, that's how I respond to it. Whereas someone else looking at this image would have a completely different response. Um, so by working over top of this image, I'm kind of doctoring it as well. So I'm doctoring the image, altering the image, responding to the image, and um, changing it so that when people look at it, it it'll, it'll be read as something a bit different. It's been doctored, if you like.